search and rescue mission unfolded near Dublin this morning after a man called to tell dispatchers that he fell near the Scioto River. NBC 4's Hattie Hawks has been talking to police since this story first broke, and she has more on what happened. Hattie? Well, Elliot is a much different scene here on a busy Route 33 nearing this afternoon. And just to think, if the man involved didn't have a cell phone, we wouldn't have even known what had happened. Take a look at the video from this morning. You can see the road here, Riverside Drive, just blocked and jammed with police and fire trucks as they searched for a man who had fallen over a cliff. It happened around 5 this morning. Now, they did end up pulling him to safety from a nearly 100 foot drop. Crews say the man called 911 saying that he'd fallen. He apparently didn't see the ledge in the dark and that he was hurt and trapped. When his cell phone died, it got a little harder for crews. They had to search through brush and pitch black. Eventually found him around 730, but it wasn't easy getting to him because of the brush and the terrain. And a fall that high makes you wonder how someone could even survive. He's very lucky. I mean, put it when all said and done, he's a very lucky individual. Fortunately, he had a cell phone. He was able to call. Um, we were able to come and um, we kept looking. You know, the hardest part is when you're looking for two hours, you start wondering if it's um, real. And this definitely was. And um, we put in the effort and it paid off for the victim. Now, what you're looking at right here is where uh, investigators or crews, rather, were able to comb out the area. They had to get through the debris in order to get to that very steep area. This kind of situation, a low frequency, high risk kind of thing, they say. About 30 people were out here helping. And the man who was uh, who had fallen, he was approximately 25 years old. He is in stable condition, taken to Riverside Hospital. But the question still remains this afternoon as to what he was doing and why he was out here before dawn in the first place. We're live in the northwest side. Hattie Hawks, NBC4.